Hello everyone, welcome back to another video here on Play on GAA. Today is just myself, Seamus Brady, giving my personal preview for the All Ireland Club hurling final of 2021. It is Ballyhale Shamrocks of Kilkenny will be going up against Bally Gunner of Waterford. It is the pairing, it is the final that everybody wanted from early on in the club hurling championship. Everyone knew that these two sides were the best two club hurling sides in the country for 2021. And we had the luck of getting them both play each other in the final to see who was best. I mean, personally, I cannot wait for these two to go up against each other. It's going to be fascinating to see who is number one. Let's start really with the traditional force of club hurling. Ballyhale Shamrocks, who, of course, over the years have produced players like Henry Shefflin, TJ Reid. The list goes on. They've been kind of more inconsistent uh, this year in terms of how they've played show games. They've really shown... They've, they've seen the times like they've been about to be beaten. So they get through the Kilkenny Championship um, as they usually do. And then they play against St. Rhinos of Offaly. And they were trailing by three points with seconds left on the clock. They had to play the whole second half, really, with 14 men. Then on Cody pops up, scores a goal, forces extra time against St. Rhinos. And then in extra time, they outscored them by 11 points to two to win the game ultimately by 324 to 218. Following that, Everyone then was more kind of thinking, God, you know, can Bally Hale, can Bally Hale be beaten in Leinster? Because Clock Balakala had come out of the Leash Championship and they looked really impressive and they'd beaten Kilmichael Croke. They'd taken a huge scalp there. And Stephen Picky Ma was in unbelievable form. And people were thinking, you know, might this be an opportunity now for a huge upset? Absolutely not. Ch no chance. Bally Hale Shamrocks put 6.23 past Clock Balakala in the Leinster final just to remind everyone really just how good that they are. Not that we'd ever really forgotten, but we just thought that they were a little bit off form potentially. Then they go into the semi final against St. Thomas. It's a game which they were again heavily back to win, especially after the form that they'd shown in the Leinster final. They were heavily back to win that game relatively comfortably. And um, then, of course, St. Thomas has found themselves two points up pretty much with the last puck of the game. TJ Reid gets a free, buries it into the back of the net. Ballyhell Shamrocks are going to the club final. It's, it's the way that Ballyhell do it. They never know when they're beaten and they never say die. And that's why in this game, saying it straight out early, I am leaning more towards Bally Gunner to win this game, just the form that they're in. I just think they're incredible this season, but you can never write Ballyhell off because they never know when they're beaten. And every time that they look like they might be, they always find it in them to pull themselves back out of the dirt and you know dust themselves off and come strong again. Um, so that's their route to the final. That late TJ Reid strike stops St. Thomas as being in this final. I mean, pretty much any other player apart from TJ Reid with the magic that he has, and we're talking about a St. Thomas's versus Bally Gunner final here. Um, but it is TJ Reid. He scores the goal. Bally Hale go to the final. Um, Bally Gunner on the other hand they win the Waterford Championship quite comfortably they've had that absolutely dominated for the last decade they have been the club in Waterford Hurling they produce most of the players to Waterford Hurling as well um, I mean going through it Desi Hutchinson, Peter Hogan Stephen O'Keefe, Barry Coughlin Porig Mahoney, Mikey Mahoney Billy O'Keefe, they've got so much talent um, and throughout the club championship different players for Bally Gunner have stepped up at different points Billy O'Keefe was the key man in the All-Ireland semi-final. He hit 2-3 against Loch Neal, who put up a good fight, but Bally Gunner obviously got through that relatively comfortably compared to what Bally Hale had to do against St. Thomas's. I mean, the, the scare that Bally Hale got, I mean, to think now that they are in the final, whereas Bally Gunner won by 219 to 117. Not as much of a fright as Bally Hale got from St. Thomas's, obviously. Up until that point, obviously, after winning the game, um, winning the Waterford final, sorry, Bally going to get through Lockmar Castellani in a bit of a controversial game. Many people feel that if they were going to get caught, that was the game that they were going to get caught. It was a real tough day. Conditions were a bit off. Um, Bally Gunner are a better side when they're playing, you know, on kind of immaculate conditions. The forwards that they have, obviously, Billy O'Keefe, Desi Hutchinson, Parag Mahoney, they like to kind of the fast ball into the hands. And under those conditions, it was going to be very hard to play that type of hurling. So Lockmore Castellani were probably the best team to catch them early on. Once they get through that test, there was no real stopping them. Then they get into the final against the Limerick champions, Kilmallock, who'd surprised pretty much everyone by beating Patrick's well, and then getting to the final. 
and Ballygunner just absolutely blew Kilmallock away. It was one of the most impressive performances that I've ever seen, really, from a club side. They just blew them away. Desi Hutchinson got the goal. The game was over at halftime. And, yeah, fantastic performance by Ballygunner that day. Then they get into the semi-final and beat Slough Neal by 219 to 117. So that leaves us with Ballygunner against Ballyhale Shamrocks in the final. And who do I think is going to win? Um, I'm going to go with Ballygunner. Just... I think the likes of Billy O'Keefe, Desi Hutchins, and Parag Mahoney, they're, they're on too hot form right now. I think one man who could be absolutely key in this final is Darren Mullen. Because earlier on when I was talking about the form of Stephen Picky Mar going into the Leinster hurling club final, uh, Darren Mullen went on him in that final and he just shut him down. Stephen Picky Mar didn't score a point from play in that club final. So that's how key Darren Mullen could be to this game because everyone's talking about Desi Hutchinson. Mullen, I imagine, might pick up Hutchinson and then however he does on him, that could really turn the game in Ballyhale's favour. If Hutchinson gets the run on him, he'd be as crucial as he always is to Ballygunner and then I can see Ballygunner winning. If he gets shut down, it could swing back towards Ballyhale here. On the other hand, who's going to pick up Ballyhale's key man? You've got Owen Cody there. You've got Adrian Mullen there. You got TJ Reed there. I can see Barry Coughlin picking up TJ Reed. I can see, I can see Ian Kenny picking up on Cody, and then I can probably see Philip Mahoney potentially going on Adrian Mullen. Um, or I can see Shane O'Sullivan going on Adrian Mullen, so that Philip Mahoney can stay at the centre half back position of the defence. It's either way. It's just going to be fascinating to see how it all plays out. These sides are just two of the best club hurling teams that we've ever seen. Um, and now they're playing in a final. Bally Gunner have been waiting for an All Ireland club title for what feels like an eternity. You know, they've had the hurlers for so long to do it, but they've never managed to put it together really as well as they have done this season. I think Desi Hutchinson is the difference. I think he's been absolutely magnificent throughout the entire club championship. He was a little bit quieter in the semi final, but he still scored five points from play. So you can't deny the talent that he has. And in this final, his performance would be absolutely crucial. I think Ballygunner just have a little bit more momentum. I'm going to go with Ballygunner to get the win by a few points. I think this is their time. This is their year. That being said, every time you count Ballyhale out, someone pops up with them for a goal to get them the win or to pull them back into extra time where then they go on to win. So who knows? <laughs> Honestly, who knows? I'm going with Ballygunner. Maybe it's my heart over in my head. Ballyhale Sharmox have been so successful for so long. I would love to see Ballygunner do it. I think they are going to do it, though, this time. But either way, it would be a fascinating one to watch. I'll definitely be watching. And, yeah, keep an eye out on the channel. We'll be doing a match reaction for both this final and the football final. And then a reaction as well for all the league action, which is taking place over the whole spring. So keep an eye out. Get it all here on Play on GAA. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. And until the next video, guys, take care.